Hare Krishna. A god who pretend, pretended we had no shortcomings would be a god who did not take our potential seriously. Suppose a parent tells a child or a teenager that they are perfect, that they have no shortcomings at all. Now this might seem uh, affirming, self-esteem inducing, but actually it will be potential destroying because everyone has to grow. Everyone has to learn discipline. Everyone has to learn virtues. Even if they have abilities, they need to practice to hone their abilities. And everyone has shortcomings. And to the extent we work on our shortcomings, to that extent we grow. But if we don't work on our shortcomings, then we can't grow. So if a coach or a trainer or a parent pretended that their ward had no shortcomings, then that person would never improve. And basically, uh, if a parent started coddling a child a, 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 or a trainer started coddling a ward, then we would conclude that probably uh, this uh, trainer has concluded that this ward can never do much. So better don't, let's, uh, they can't improve much, they don't have much potential. So just let them not feel bad about being where they are. And this similar dynamic applies to God. That if God did not instruct us about what things to do and what things not to do, then that means that God would not be taking our potential seriously. Each one of us can be much, much better than what we are right now. And it is God who can see us in our fullness, in our richness, in our potential for doing wonderful things, for not just doing wonderful things, but for becoming a wonderful being. And because he takes our potential seriously, he also takes our shortcomings seriously. He doesn't pretend that we are perfect. And that's why he tells at times in scripture that these activities are reproachable. These activities are to be given up. And these activities are to be are recommended to be done. In fact, this is the way in which we need to approach God's words given in the scripture. As stated in the Bhagavad Gita 16.24, Tasmat Shastram Pramanam Te Karya Karya Vivasthitam Yatva Shastra Vidhanoktam Karma Kartum Iharasi So Karma Kartum Iharasi How should we act? Krishna says, Tasmat Shastram Pramanam Te Understand the Praman of Shastra. Understand what Shastra is saying. Karya, Karya Vavastita. Understand what is to be done and what is not to be done. And thereafter, Gyatva Shastra Vidha Noktam. Understanding the word of scripture, act accordingly. When we act in this way, uh, then we can fulfill our potential. And thus, God points, to our, points out our shortcomings so that we can have our ultimate coming. We can come to our full potential and come to Him for a life of the fullest happiness that we can ever have. Hare Krishna.